Hello YouTube. It is Sunday, December 12th. Um, oh my god, I just forgot what time it was. Just that fast. Um, hang on. I'm rolling with two of my phones. 6.13 p.m. <coughs> iPhone's still at home, still charging. Hopefully it's 100% when I get home. Um, boy, I did not, I did not think this trip out well at all. Um, wearing a short sleeve shirt and flip flops and uh it as soon as the sun went down it got chilly fast it's uh it's nippy out here and of course i'm sipping a nice cold drink from uh circle k so yeah that helps <laughs> uh so um let's see starting off where i left off uh may 8th ace for Sunday bus schedules, I feel like I made pretty reasonable time to ace. Yeah, phlegm. Um, oh, and on that note, apologies for the crap quality uh, vertical video. This just seemed like it would be best shot on my uh, Obama phone. And since I'm carrying a, a drink and a bag for Ace hardware, it's just easier to hold this phone like this. And, and walking down this path at night on uh, the old Crosscut Canal Park, um, yeah, it's uh, the video is going to be crap quality no matter what aspect ratio I shoot it in, so or orientation I shoot it in. So it is what it is. Oh man, that drink is hitting the spot. I was terribly thirsty. Like I don't think I've drank anything the entire day other than a can of Mountain Dew. You know? Yes, I know. Wow. That's right, a little miniature motorcycle down the uh, bike path. <laughs> I, uh, I question the legality of that, but I highly doubt <laughs> there's uh, any, any, any uh, law enforcement that's going to do anything about it. Um, for those who haven't got the memo the phoenix pd is extremely short-handed these days uh couldn't help but notice when i was in downtown phoenix on uh i believe it was tuesday yeah definitely tuesday uh, for the protests at the state capitol and when i got an email they were doing another protest in uh uh scottsdale it was kind of in oh i forget where it was it was but it was it was yesterday morning at, at some sort of hour that A, I would never be awake, and B, yeah, there's no way in hell I was going to make it to that part of Scottsdale. Um, as it is, yesterday I did pretty good to get everything done I needed to get done. And I feel fabulous because I, I did get everything done I needed to get done. Got all my, uh, my three remaining eBay orders packed up and shipped. And managed to walk to the post office on time. And I think I think I've logged on the way to the post office if memory serves. And um felt like a uh, an inconveniently long bus wait waiting on Van Buren, but I did get to my storage in plenty of time to get everything I needed ready for last night's uh last night's one off gig and um and do a little bit of organizing in my storage. In fact I even uh crush some cans and some bottles, which is something I haven't really put any time into lately. I mean, at this point, it's like something not really worth putting much time into lately. The rate that's being paid now for, uh, it sounds like there's somebody using a chainsaw in the dark over there. That's interesting. Um, anyway, uh, is, uh, yeah, the cost of, or what do you call it? The, the, the price of uh, Type 1 plastic and and aluminum have gone way, way down. Um, yeah, inflation has not been good on those those prices. Um, those have gone way down. And with unprecedented inflation on everything else, um, yeah, it makes the, the less amount of money that's being paid for it even less. I mean, even back when it was over a buck a pound for aluminum, it still honestly paid me less than minimum wage for the amount of time I would spend packaging it up and crushing it. 
And, and which, of course, I, I guess begs the question, why the hell am I still doing it? And I guess it's just, I don't know, it just kind of feels like something that I'm, a, a small thing I'm doing that kind of makes a difference for cleaning up the environment. I don't know, it makes me feel good to do it. So I do continue to do it when I have the time. Um, anyway, yeah, I worked on a little bit of that until it showed up. And uh, um, So yeah, I mean, yesterday was probably the best day I've had in ages. I mean, the party went well, as I mentioned in my last video. Um, I, I totally did not expect children. And, and honestly, I really had fun with it. Um, uh, uh, it's it, little kids doing karaoke is always a very entertaining thing. You know, for me as a, as a host, it becomes a, it does become a bit of an issue because my library is built, you know, around the premise of doing bar shows, specifically explicit bar shows for, uh, a, a 21 plus crowd. So I, I generally speaking, will only have karaoke versions of songs with explicit lyrics, you know, with, with the explicit versions of the lyrics, if it's an explicit song. Um, I mean, I do have some that aren't, that's not intentional, that's just, it just ends up being what I got, but, you know, anytime I get a chance, you know, and, and um, I generally only keep one version, I keep the explicit one, and, and kind of my take on that is that just omitting a word on the screen in a karaoke song that has an obvious cuss word in it doesn't make that word go away. If, if the song's inappropriate, the song is inappropriate, it shouldn't be sang. That's, uh, that's my opinion on that, which I will stand firm behind. Um, anyway, um, back, that's probably been about five years ago, but back when Lily was in first and second grade, uh, I, I used to volunteer extensively at her school, and the more notable things that I did there was, uh, I mean, I, sh I chaperoned a lot of field trips, I tutored in her class, uh, in her homeroom class, as well as I regularly ended up, uh, not pretty much, not so much tutoring, but just kind of helping the uh, art teacher out with some projects she had. And really enjoyed that. But one of the more notable things that I did that is certainly you know unique to, unique to me as opposed to something any, any random parent that wanted to volunteer at the school would do is uh, at Longview Elementary School, I, uh, I, I, did, my, I did karaoke and... Oh, look, an electric scooter. Uh, I did karaoke and um, uh, That is a bird. Wow. I don't often see birds up here. That's very interesting. Especially considering that I think it's about, I think it's about a half mile outside of their geofenced area. It's uh, surprising. Um, you know, back in the day before a bird was geofenced and, and uh, I used to see birds every now and here then make it out to here, but it's definitely the first one I've seen this close to my home since they've been geofencing them and not allowing them outside of the geofenced area. Oh, uh, anyway, so what was I saying? Uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I um, did a handful of things where I provided DJ services and sound services for, uh, and, and in some of those instances that also included karaoke for uh, Longview Elementary School. And I also rebuilt the PA in their gymnasium, which was uh, was um, yeah, that was uh, that was a fun project. You know, I honestly thought I was going to get a little money out of that because I actually put some money into equipment, and and I never ended up getting it. And and I don't know, <laughs> I could have really used the money at the time, but it was still a project that it made me proud, especially when I saw how much they used it. And even when I went back there a few later uh, years later to uh basically try to follow up with 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 lily and her mom disappearing with her um i did get to talk to uh ben smith the principal and he said that, uh, that they were still using that pa and it was still working great so that's a good thing um well i have 15 seconds left on this so i guess i'm wrapping it up gotta love this phone and its 10 minute limit